Today we as a team are going to present a project on the topic mathematical ideas behind monuments. Today we have taken mathematical ideas behind Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is a huge white mausoleum located in Agra, India. It was built by Shah Jahan, a Mughal emperor in memory of his third wife. Taj Mahal has a great mathematical structure. About 20,000 workers worked for 16 years to complete this beautiful structure. Though it is a symbol of love, it is also a symbol of many mathematical concepts. A mathematical constant. The delicate inscriptions on the walls of Taj Mahal also have a touch of mathematics as well. We would have noticed an object looking huge when it's closer, but the very same object looks smaller in size as it moves further. Similarly, the inscriptions closer to the eye should be huge while the ones on the top should be smaller and unreadable. But that is not so, all thanks to mathematical constant. By using mathematical constant on an idea of fixed number, architects have gradually increased the size of the inscriptions as they went higher and keeping the writings Pre, uh, readable and as well as beautiful. Now let's move to mathematical angles. The minarets or the four towers at each corner of the Taj Mahal display absolute symmetry. They have the concept of mathematical angles. Although they might look upright and erect, in reality they are angled slightly away from the main structure. Many reports cite that this minor adjustment of the angle was to ensure that in case of an earthquake, the minarets or the four towers at each corner of the Taj Mahal would fall away from the Taj and the symbol of love would be protected from the tumbling minarets. Now let's move on to mathematical symmetry. Taj Mahal has bilateral symmetry. All the windows, minarets, canopies on either side of a midline are symmetrical to other side. Even the mosque and the guest house built on either side of Taj Mahal are symmetrical to each other. If we were to measure the Taj area or volume, we could measure one half and just double it up the, to get the entire dimensions of the structure reducing the efforts in half. Fibonacci series The design of the Taj Mahal also features on the golden ratio of Fibonacci series. To get the golden ratio, simply take the numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21 until infinity. Notice that every number is the sum of the previous two numbers. If we divide any number by the predecessing number, we get the answer around 1.6. For example, when we take 2 and 3, we get 5. When we divide 3 by 2, we get 1.5, which is approximately around 1.6. This is called Fibonacci series. And geometrically, it looks like this. A 1 by 1 square followed by a 2 by 2 square, then a 3 by 3 square, a 5 by 5 square, and so forth. When we take this geometrical shape and apply to the task, it exactly fits in giving the Taj an composed and visually appealing appearance. Reflection Symmetry Reflection symmetries also abound in the decorations made from precious and semi-precious stones inlaid on white tonsils and marble, as you can see in the main gate gateway of Taj Mahal. Even the reflecting pools of water add to the sense of exquisite symmetry throughout the site. Next to the tomb, the stones lie in a distinctive pattern of four pointed stars, red sandstone and diamond, diamond marble. And even in the pool, you can see four pointed stars in the middle of the pool, which is, and it's, which is reflective symmetry. Reflection symmetries characterize the pattern of paving stones surrounding the Taj Mahal and amidst and symmetrical gardens in front of Taj Mahal, walkway stones are laid in a pattern that combines squares and hexagon 
to to create a regular octagon this is our mathematics play a role in adding touch of beauty and elegance to the architecture in the real world architects could use principles of the taj to create a similar building however the myth is that the mughal emperor cut off the hands of the men who built the taj so that it would never be reconstructed thank you thank you